It is the 14th of June, 2017, and that can mean only one thing, episode 11 of Boruto. If you've been keeping track, you will notice that I've missed out two weeks of episode reviews, because it was away one week, and last week, well, my my data got corrupted, I finished editing and everything, was about to upload it, and the video just didn't play, and YouTube didn't recognise it either, so I kind of gave up at that point, and thought I'd just try fresh this week. So if you are wondering where my reviews for episode 9 and 10 are, they don't exist. So without further ado, let's get back into things by reviewing episode 11, The Shadow of the Mastermind. So this ties into episode 10, which I assume if you're watching this, you've seen last week. And it begins straight away with the class rep still in the hospital, in her hospital bed. And as Boruto's visiting, he notices Naruto's there as well. And Naruto kind of pulls him aside and warns him that things are getting very, very serious now. And maybe that kids shouldn't be involved, that he can handle it. Bushino sticks up for him and stuff. And eventually Naruto kind of softens and maybe lets Boruto kind of do it. It's up in the air. But I will say, this plot is getting uh, more and more serious. I thought it was just going to be something to do with, oh, everyone needs to have their hearts cleansed by Boruto's ability or something. But no, this seems to actually be some kind of conspiracy going on, which is... It reminds me a little bit of the, like, leaf destruction tune-in exam thing from Naruto, where the sand trio and stuff try to infiltrate and stuff like that. And then a little later on in the episode, there is another ghost attack, uh, something I haven't mentioned, obviously, because I missed last week's episode, but Boruto has dubbed all these shadow possession things ghosts now, which makes it infinitely easier for me because shadow possession is a little confusing as that's already a move in Naruto. So yeah, there's been another, I think they said this the fifth ghost attack now, and once again, and again an element from last week's episode that I haven't mentioned, is Sai found some Hashirama cells, which is linked to the foundation, the kind of higher up area of Anbu that Sai was a member of. So this is kind of laying more groundwork and kind of giving evidence that it wasn't just a one-off thing, there's definitely some link to Hashirama cells, which is really intriguing to me. I'm not sure how that ties in at all, so I'm quite interested to see how that plays out. Maybe there's some cell in the upper areas of Anbu that's working against the leaf or something, or maybe conducting a kind of experiment. Honestly, to put all my cards on the table for a second, my theory about this is that Mitsuki and, I don't know, possibly his father, Rochimaru, and other people, they're kind of testing Boruto for some reason. I'm not sure why, but it all feels to me like Mitsuki knows what's going on and is orchestrating this from the shadows, but they're doing it to test Boruto in some way for something. I could be completely wrong, but that's what I get the impression of after this episode anyway. So then the episode kind of carries on a little bit with them getting back to working for the post office as they did last episode stuff like that. Nothing really big happens. It's just about, yeah, getting back into it and motivating and the guy that's helping them trying to understand what they're doing and just generally being a cool guy. So there's not much to discuss there. But then later on, Boruto and the others seem to cook up a plan to get everyone, all of their friends, to go around the entire village to look out for ghost incidents and things. So basically they'd spread out and send everyone around there so they'd have the whole village covered. But as they escape, a mysterious masked man appears and possesses the postmaster, the kind of head of the post office. But moments later, Boruto breaks back in to the post office and reveals that the plan was fake all along, and they knew that if the person with the mask knew that all of the village was under surveillance, the last place they'd look is the post office. This is clearly a plan probably Shikada helped with, as I don't imagine Boruto made this up, although he is known to be really clever, so possibly he made this up anyway. So anyway, they have a big fight with the postmaster who's been possessed, and as usual, they just punch him and it gets rid of the nasty possession ghost thing and then it disappears into a large cloud with eyes for some reason the guy in the mast though he's cornered in a alleyway does manage to get away though and right at the end of that thing we see that he's followed into the sewers by Mitsuki who kind of stands there and just gives him a look and smiles a bit as the man 
with the mask disappears, obviously implying that they're kind of working together or something. Which furthers my idea that Mitsuki is testing Boruto because he doesn't seem malicious, he doesn't seem to hate Boruto or something, he just wants to maybe see if he possesses a certain kind of power or something. It is really vague and obviously it'll come to fruition in a couple of episodes time, but at the moment I'm quite intrigued to find out exactly what it is he's doing in the hidden leaf. And finally, right at the end of the episode, the last 30 seconds or so, we see some shots of... Now, I want to say it's a mysterious guy, but someone in the comment section a few episodes to go, and thanks dude, I didn't realise this, pointed out that it's uh, the man from Naruto The Lost, the movie, the member of the Otsutsuki clan after, obviously, Kaguya was defeated and stuff. He's sort of a descendant or something. I can't quite remember. But yeah, so we get a shot of him kind of rambling about how Boruto's bringing about some destiny or something like that. And then he mentions right at the end a character he calls Nui. Or New? New? I don't know how to pronounce that. I think he pronounced it as Nui, so I'm gonna so I'm gonna pronounce it as Nui as well. So that's interesting. That'll probably come into the storyline in a couple of episodes time but that about wraps it up for the story in terms of extras and theories and stuff there's nothing really to discuss there was a little part that i was kind of excited for where the two girls that were working with the class rep in the water facility left the hospital because they were less injured than her and mentioned they were going to meet their dads and there's a very brief shot and who i think is kiba but because it's from behind i can barely tell so i think kiba is the father of the girl with the tail which makes sense the other girl, I can't work out who her parents are. It's a kind of shame they didn't even just have a brief flash of their parents, just as a nod of the, ah, uh, see, this is their parents kind of thing, but it's fine. And that about wraps it up for episode 11. It's quite an enjoyable one, very plot-heavy again, as with the last few. I am impressed by how focused they are on the plot now. I also like that there are small elements of mysteries just sprinkled around, like why is there Hashirama cells? What is Mitsuki doing there? Who is Nui? Things like that. And obviously they'll be answered in the next few episodes, and hopefully next week I'll be making a review for episode 12, which, on the topic of next week, here's a slide of next week which is entitled Boruto and Mitsuki. I'm not too sure exactly what the focus of next week's episode is going to be, but it seems like Mitsuki and Boruto team up, and possibly there's going to be some focus on what the hell Mitsuki is doing, and maybe more about his motivations. But who knows, that's kind of up in the air. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. As I said, I shall endeavour to do another review for episode 12 in a week's time. But until then, goodbye.